Hi, I'm Dr. Patrick Kerr. When you take the Kerr collar out of the box and hold it in your hand for the first time, you're going to notice a couple things. You're going to notice the streamlined base of the collar, and you're also going to notice the flexibility. It is designed that way to fit into shoulder pads, and this is not part of the compressive element. This is to hold it into the shoulder pads, and it's made for comfort and movement as the player is functioning. How the Kerr collar works and what you're going to notice when it's fit correctly in the shoulder pads is not to restrict the range of motion at all during normal play. But when you go to hit somebody, as you go in to hit and tackle someone, the bottom of this helmet has to hit the compressive elements. It absorbs some of the forces that are generated during impact and deflects them away from the head and neck area. This is one of the great features of the Kerr Collar, that when you're in a football position, you're able to move around. It's only at the point of impact does this device work. One of the design features of the Kerr Collar is that you'll see there's nothing in the back to stop the player's head from going backwards. When a player has impact, you want the player's head to be able to go back away from the force. You do not want to restrict the player's head. The only mechanism that you really want to reduce or try to reduce is axial load. So as that force comes down, we reduce some of the axial load force, but allow the player's head to go backwards. And that disperses some of the force generated during impact. 